we're gonna go ahead and open up these two wholesale boxes today we've already opened up box number one and there was a lot of really good stuff in there so i'm excited to open up box number two and box number three and see what's in store for us today Hey, how's it going everyone? So if you guys missed the video where I opened up the first wholesale box, I'll link that up here in the corner for you. I also talked about a little bit in that video where I made the purchase from, but just to give you guys a quick cliff notes, I paid $2,000 for 170 items. So that comes to just under $12 per individual piece. There are, you know, some items that are better than others, but overall as a whole purchase, once it's all said and done and I sell through all 170 items, we are talking about vintage clothing here, so it could take up to a year, maybe even longer. But once it's all said and done, my hope is to triple my investment, which is extremely good for a wholesale deal. Um, the shipment came in five boxes. We've already opened the first one. We're going to open up another two today. The first box was extremely good, so I'm excited to see what we're going to unbox here today. Let's go ahead and start with this box here. The corner kind of fell apart during shipment but everything looks to be intact so i'm not too worried about it but just a quick preview looks like we have a stack of jeans here but yeah let's dig in and see what's in store for us all right let's see what we got here okay cool so right off the bat we have some patagonia size 10 made in the usa nylon pants this is a men's size large. We have that L.O. Bean Outdoor logo. Another pair of sweats right here. And we have a second pair of L.O. Bean Men's Sweats. Another size large. This one says, actually this one says women's. So this is a pair of women's sweats. Size large as well. So we got a pair of men's, a pair of women's L.O. Bean sweatpants. So this one just seems like a pants box. This pair here is Burton, which is a really good snowboarding brand. So this is going to be probably more long tail items since it's a lot of winter clothing, but a really good brand for snowboarding gear. We have a pair of workout pants. I think these are women's workout pants. I think this brand is Athleta. Yeah, it just says Athlet. I think it's missing the A at the end, Athleta. So a size medium. These are like women's yoga pants. But Athleta is a very good brand for resale. We got some Under Armour. This just seems like compression pants. Yep, Under Armour heat gear. This is 511, which is another very good brand. So a lot of really good brand names. We have 511 Tactical Series. Um, this is a size 34. But 511 is a very high quality brand. So excited to see that in here. We have 505 Levi pants. Just a nice simple gray. This is, I've never heard of this brand before. This is Jord, Jordake, I wanna say. Size 14, made in Hong Kong. I'm gonna have to look up this brand, but Jordak, Jordak, however you pronounce it, Basics. Another pair of jeans. Like we saw in the little preview, there are a huge stack of jeans right here. So we'll go through these quickly. Um, we have a pair of Levi 501s. This is Calvin Klein. These are Levi 540s, Levi 505. This is a pair of Levi 550s. This is another pair of 505s and another pair of 505s. Let's see if there are any more jeans in here. I think there's two more. So there's a good volume of stuff, that's for sure. Um, another pair of 550s and then this one is another pair of Levi's I don't see a number here but these are just like a, a darker black slash gray pair of pants we have a pair of Nike dry fit sweatpants 
It was a pair of Banana Republic straight fit khakis. They're just like a, a light blue. We have more Under Armour, just another pair of innerwear slash compression pants. This is Volcom. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is another really good snowboarding brand to be on the lookout for, but this would be innerwear for when you go do winter sports, when you go skiing slash snowboarding. More Under Armour athletic compression pants. We have some Nike shorts. Just a simple pair of basketball shorts right here. We have more Volcom, has the stripes on the pockets. And then it's like a variation of green shades. More Volcom. This is another pair of board shorts right here. So mostly pants. Actually, it seems like it's all pants. We have a pair of Under Armour. We have another pair of 5'11 pants, which is really good to see. 5'11, like I said, is a very good brand for resale. We have some Carhartt pants. This is a pair of shorts, size 34, relaxed fit. The Carhartt is an amazing brand, an amazing outdoor brand. We have more Volcom right here, a pair of shorts. We have some sweatpants right here, a pair of Nike sweatpants. I'm assuming these are vintage. Has that big Nike swoosh on the front, super cool. Nike, Nike dry fit shorts. I think he added more pieces than 170 in total, it seems like, to be completely honest. He might have thrown in a few freebies for me. Uh, we have a pair of Speedo. I think these are just swim trunks. We have more Carhartt. Like I said, a very good outdoor brand. We have some, it's like cargo slash khaki shorts pair of large Under Armour basketball shorts. Ooh, this, look how bright this blue is. This is a pair of Guess by George's Marciano made in the USA. Super bright blue pair of shorts. This is a pair of Puma sweatpants. We have a pair of Cavu size medium shorts. And the last piece for this box is Mountain Hardware size 34 slash 32 another outdoor slash hiking brand so yeah that's everything for this box i don't know how many pieces there are in this box but i think he added a few freebies in there to be completely honest with you some very good brands there was a pair of you know these patagonia sweatpants there was a lot of carhartt 511 tactical jeans so yeah pretty happy with this box pants are definitely a bit more tedious to process and list but once it's all said and done i'll definitely be making a good amount of profit off of this box here all right so we have box number three that we're going to go ahead and open up move to a different location so we'll go ahead and open up this box and see what's in here so the second box was all pants definitely more on the tedious side to list but there were a lot of really good brands in there so happy with that second box. Let's see what we have in store for us here. All right, so this box looks like a very good one. Right off the bat, we have a 100% wool Brooks Brothers V-neck sweater. This next piece here is a vintage Notre Dame college sweater. The brand is, it just says team edition, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, made in the USA, size extra large super cool piece right here we have a vintage eddie bauer crew neck sweater so this box looks like it's all sweaters for the most part this one says cheers boston and a lot of this stuff i'm gonna have to look at cross listing to various platforms like poshmark maybe even grailed i know grailed is really good a really hot market for um, vintage clothing this is a woman's Carhartt size small hoodie, like an olive green basic hoodie. But like I mentioned with the other box, Carhartt is a very good brand. This one is the brand is Jersey size large made in the USA and it has like a pretty cool graphic on the front. It says shut up and fish. And this one actually still has the original tags on it. You don't see that very often with older pieces of clothing. 
This is an Under Armour cold gear, just a basic gray crew neck sweater. We have this Nautica full zip fall jacket, kind of feels like a rain jacket. We have a Polo Golf, it has a couple of buttons here, but this pullover Polo Golf. This next jacket, it's like a, a light winter jacket. I've never heard of this brand, Travel Well, but it feels like a quality piece for sure. This is a full zip Columbia rain jacket, and I think it does have a hood. Yep, so it has a hood that you can store away. This is a very cool piece, a Levi's denim jacket. And we have even a cooler piece. This is a Woolrich long sleeve button down shirt. But the design on this is super cool. Look at that. This is a pearl snap. The brand is called Shoot Number One. I've never heard of that one, but a pearl snap long sleeve dress shirt. So we have sweaters and a couple of dress shirts. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I do sell a lot of button front shirts. This is a Nautica button front shirt. This piece here is super cool. This is a Aloha Hawaiian short sleeve button front shirt, but a super cool floral design right there. This is an Arizona polo. A lot of these pieces, they just have super cool patterns on them. We have a pair of Nike Pro Combat Athletic Compression Pants that snuck into this box. This is a Levi's Commuter Long Sleeve Button Front Shirt. Oh, we got a very good brand here. So this is a Burberry London Long Sleeve Dress Shirt. So a very high quality brand right there. We have a Carhartt size extra large tall, which is a pretty good size long sleeve button front plaid shirt. We have another men's Woolrich button down shirt. Woolrich is a pretty good brand for men's button down shirts. We have a pearl snap here. This is a Pendleton. Another really awesome brand to resell is Pendleton. And it definitely helps that this piece is a pearl snap. So a lot of dress shirts and casual button fronts, which is definitely in my realm of stuff that I resell. This is a Carhartt. We have a Carhartt crew neck pullover, long sleeve shirt. A lot of stuff here today. Another Pendleton, long sleeve Pendleton crew neck pullover, 70% cotton, 30% wool. So a nice cotton wool blend right there. Whew, I have a lot of listing ahead of me. We have another long sleeve pearl snap. I've never heard of this brand. It's called Prana. I'll have to look that one up, but it looks like a quality pearl snap shirt at least. We have a North Face piece, the North Face short sleeve button front shirt. I've never heard of this one either. It's called Aperture Blonded Fleece. Kind of looks and feels like a North Face, the North Face type of fleece. But this one is, I'll have to look up the brand. Hopefully it's a good one. This is a Volcom quarter zip pullover slash hoodie. Look at these laces, it has a super cool red, white, and blue color to it. But Volcom, this is what it looks like. The brand, a very good outdoor slash snow sports brand. We have a Mountain Hardware outdoor jacket right here. A couple more pieces to dig through. This piece here is a black fall full zip jacket. The brand is called O'Neill. This is a Nordstrom long sleeve, an Under Armour long sleeve, and another long sleeve pullover. So a couple of bread and butter items to end with. So with those two wholesale boxes, we got this huge stack of clothes and these two piles of clothing. I didn't go through and count all the individual pieces. I'm going to have to do that once I open up all five boxes, but it almost feels like he added a couple of freebies. They're just 
it just seems like there's a lot of items per box but so far pretty happy with that first box we opened up on another video and the two that we opened up on camera today um, but yeah, I have a lot of work ahead of me in terms of processing and listing all of these items. But that is a very good problem to have, especially in my area in New Jersey. I don't see thrift stores opening up anytime soon, to be completely honest with you. I know a couple of other states have started to open back up, but I'm like 25 minutes from New York City and my part of New Jersey it's just it just doesn't look like things are gonna go back to normal anytime soon so you know wholesale orders like this is what's gonna keep my business going hope you guys enjoy this unboxing video that's gonna be everything for today hope you guys are doing well i'll catch you guys in the next one bye